Also, a Fox 35 Health Watch this morning. If you think mosquitoes are bad here in Florida, well, just wait until the summer, and when you see these pictures, you'll know why we're doing this story. This is scary, really. Researchers say pests 20 times the normal size could be invading Florida in the coming months. And Fox's Steph D.P. Trichano has the details of these mega mosquitoes. They are bigger. It's huge. It's about the size of a quarter. Meaner. It just feels like you're being stabbed. And it hurts. And more annoying than anything else. And it has a very bad bite. The female. Serophora ciliata. Otherwise known as the galley nipper. This shows uh, all the different kinds of mosquitoes that are common to Florida. And we have plenty here. But major tropical events like Debbie last summer awakened the dormant galley nipper eggs. And scientists are expecting a boom this summer too. In an urban area, it's not really their habitat, so we probably won't see them in the city, so to speak. But if you live near a um, pasture type of an area, a grassy area that floods, then that's where you would see these mosquitoes most likely. The galley nipper is a very large mosquito with hairy legs that feeds day and night. It's about 20 times bigger than the sort of the typical Florida, uh, Florida mosquito that you find. And it's mean and it goes after people and it, and it bites and it hurts. Anthony Pelias from Mosey should know he's been bitten countless times by the galley nipper. Mean, tough looking mosquito. While working several years in the Amazon jungle. You know, people collect bugs. I would collect uh, bug stings and bug bites. The galley nipper can penetrate through layers of clothing, will bite pets, even fish out in the wild. This summer it's very important to wear lots of mosquito repellent if you don't want to get bit by the galley nipper. Steph Petra Antonio. And it hurts. Fox 35 News. All right, it is, uh, there are two good things about this mega mosquito, okay? It will eat the larvae of smaller, regular mosquitoes, so that helps cut down on that population, except you get the big ones. And these mega mosquitoes do not spread any human diseases like the West Nile virus, but apparently they can uh, bite you through the clothes. Yuck. So there you go.